Arvind Kejriwal just refuses to do what the court wants him to do. So how did the court react to what he did today? Let's find out. There is a lot of legal illiteracy in the country. Even educated people do not know about legal proceedings as to what is bail and what is bond. Being in the position you were, I expect you to be sensible. I am trying to find what my fault is. In such cases, I have been released after I gave undertaking in courts earlier. You have been summoned as an accused. You are not a convict. You will face trial. You cannot say that I am innocent and I will not give bond. This is a procedure. And the argument continued in the court. After spending two days in Tihar jail, AAP chief Arvind K. Jival was today produced in the Patiala House Court for the defamation case hearing filed against him by BJP leader Nitin Gadkari. Once again, a heated exchange of words took place between the Metropolitan Magistrate and K. Jival refused to pay the bail bond amount. K. Jival to remain in jail till June 6th. Yes. After K. Jival refused to pay the bail bond amount of 10,000 rupees, the Patiala House Court extended his judicial custody by another 14 days. I would be failing in my duty if I don't go by procedure. The court cannot act as a mute spectator when a particular litigant intentionally seeks to violate the procedure established by law. This case cannot be dealt with any differently than any other criminal cases where the courts insist on furnishing bail bond or personal bond to secure the presence of the accused persons. The accused in the present case cannot seek differential treatment to be let off only on an oral undertaking in violation to the settled procedure regarding bail. Nitin Gadkari's advocate Pinky Anand said that KG Val was in jail as he went against the court and the law. When any accused appears before the court, the person is supposed to, the accused is supposed to furnish a bail bond with or without surety. In, the, in today's case, in fact, the court explained at length to Mr. Kejriwal directly by saying, I thought you were represented by counsels, so therefore there was no need to tell you, but I feel it, I should must apprise you of the situation. For a long time, she explained the entire procedure of the Court of Criminal Procedure. Mr. Kejriwal also sought exemption on 7th of April. We never objected to the exemption. We objected to his not fulfilling the bail bond. That is the only reason he's inside. AP leader and lawyer Prashant Bhushan said, the court's order was not right and that they would move the high court. That it is not necessary in a case where a person is summoned that he must be taken into custody and thereafter released only on a bail or, or on a bond. Therefore, this is an incorrect order. We will be challenging it in the high court as soon as possible. Congress leader Renuka Chaudhary said that this was a pre-planned drama and Kejriwal's action were merely to gain public attention. Soon after the court gave its order, Kejriwal was taken back to Tihar jail. Why is Kejriwal refusing to pay? AAP leaders have been saying that providing the bail amount would only prove that he is a criminal. But is this the only reason why Kejriwal is going against the law? Or is it a publicity stunt as other political leaders term it? The court will hold its next hearing on June 6th. What is the next step it will take? Will K. Jival continue to maintain his stand? A new stand report. Performing stunts without proper gear, guide and emergency measures can prove fatal. And that is exactly what happened today in Bidar. Bikes in India are no longer used just for commuting. True bikers share a special relation with the bike that not many would understand. Prem Kumar was one such person from Bidar. Very passionate about biking, he would spend hours with his bike, either riding or washing and polishing it. Such was his love for the bike that his family members were quite irritated by this and wanted him to take up something more meaningful. His mother would constantly pester him to take up a job and put an end to the craziness. But Prem Kumar was adamant that he would someday achieve something big. And it was this determination of his that proved fatal. I'm Prem Kumar and Thirdi, sir. Our Ruberi, Jim Martiru, Jim Marta, or Kelsatri, Kelsa Martildri, Namanegal, or Naman or Hidden Bikar Tildri, Namapur Hidden Bikar Tila, Namapur Tiroder, sir, or Tiroz Melam, Mary Alanam Nord Kondro. 
ಕೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ರೀ ಅವ ಜಿಮ್ ಮಾಡಿ 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 ನಾ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಉದ್ಧಾರ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾ ಏನೋ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾ ಈ ದುನಿಯಾದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ತೋರಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ನನ್ನ ಸಾಧನೆ ಏನದ ಅಂಬೋದು ನಾನು ಸಾಧನೆ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿ 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 ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದರಾಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬರಬೇಕಂತ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಹುಚ್ಚಿತ್ರಿ Yes Prem Kumar wanted to see his name in Glimka Book of Records and how did he choose to do this by performing bike stunts But luck was not on his side on one fateful day when this happened Prem Kumar was being filmed by his friends when he was performing different stunts on the bike but one stunt went horribly wrong. Prem Kumar jumps back to the saddle but loses control of the bike which crashes on the road leaving him dead on the spot. His friends immediately stop filming and rush to his help but the damage had already been done. Either due to a broken vertebrae or hemorrhage, Prem Kumar had breathed his last much before he could be rushed to the hospital. His mother who hoped that her son would one day support her has been left devastated after the accident. She is inconsolable and so is Prem Kumar's wife. Prem Kumar had married just 3 months back and now everything has come to end abruptly. No helmet or safety gear. Blatant violation of traffic rules. Youngsters these days harbor the hope of making it big through bike stunts. But what Prem Kumar did was utterly stupid and risky beyond comprehension. Take a look at Prem Kumar performing the stunts. He isn't wearing any helmet or any safety gear. He isn't even wearing footwear. And the place chosen to do the stunt, a highway, is definitely the worst place to execute this. With no hospitals in the vicinity and no emergency assistance available, it was a matter of time before Prem Kumar met the gory end. Taking note of the increasing number of such accidents, the police have warned the youth not to indulge in such outrageous stunts. Prem Kumar, Satya Darbhagya, na mumna bad sanchara thane le prakarna daakala gade. Naan yuvakaral le manevi. Yee yee dina yuvakuru tumbo fasta ke dara. Daibitto yaudi riti enda stunt mada dekhe. Vogalar thane tamma jivan na atimule vaigarata. Tamma avalambe taranta tande taai ende te makalana. ಜೋಪಾನವಾಗಿ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಕಣ್ಣು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂತಕ್ಕಂತ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯವನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಬೈಕ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಶಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಡಿಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ವುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಶಾಟ್ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಇದರ ಬೈಕ್ ಶಾಟ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಶಾಟ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕೋ ಪ್ರಿಕಾಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಆಯಾ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಆ ಹುಡುಗ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬಿದ್ದ ತಲೆ ಗೇಟ್ ಬಿದ್ದು ಸೊ ಲೈಫ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಮೇಡಮ್ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಲಿಮ್ಕಾ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಏನೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಪಕ್ಕ ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಏನು ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಏನೋ ಒಂದ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಲಿಮ್ಕಾ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಏನೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಪಕ್ಕ ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಏನು ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಏನೋ ಒಂದ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೇಕು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ಡ್ We have seen hundreds of such accidents where bikers have lost their lives for not adhering to rules and regulations. But it is indeed pitiable that people just refuse to learn. Shivanand Hiremat for News 9, Bidhan. Well, Diwali this time will not be about just lambs and crackers. There is good news for all those who love the yellow metal. Good news for Diwali. Gold likely to cost 2400 rupees per gram. It was just yesterday that RBI eased import norms on gold and within a day the demand for yellow metal has gone up with rates falling by almost 1000 rupees per 10 grams. 
The rate per gram came down to 2,750 rupees yesterday and now it is being said that the rate would drop down to 2,400 rupees per gram by Diwali. India Bullion and Jewellers Association is of the opinion that the price would further come down since they are hoping for reduction in customs duty in the forthcoming budget. RBI's easing of 2080 gold import norms is positive for the gems and jewellery industry. We expect this will be followed by reduction of the customs duty to 4 to 5 percent from the current 10 percent in the forthcoming budget, resulting in declining of gold prices and the price is likely to be 23,000 to 24,000 rupees by Diwali. The yellow metal is likely to be on par with the global prices as the premiums will also go down due to the positive steps taken by the government. The step taken by RBI to boost exports has certainly come as happy news to all those crazy about the yellow metal. A news report.